lot of these brushes because to me it's like everybody needs to have one of these brushes. It's just a good one. So the next step is going to be the mineral makeup powder. And I know she's a 3.5, she picked it out. So you're going to put a little powder on the plate. And I'll get out of the way in just a second here. Then what you want to, to be careful of is um, just taking the brush and putting it on the skin. That's what you don't want to do. One of the hardest things about mineral makeup powder is just knowing how to use it correctly. So teaching them that it's loose, it's minerals, but you need to tap and then either shake it off or dab it on a tissue. The way it works really well for a party is if every person has a paper towel. So she's going to have her plate, she's going to have her paper towel. And I'm going to just sit it here for convenience for me, but you're going to dab it dab it on here on the paper towel and so that's going to get off the excess. At home I dab it and I blow on it but it just doesn't seem appropriate to do that um, <laughs> on other people. But, and then you just take it and swirl. So why are you not using the short brush? Um, the Kabuki, I love the Kabuki brush too and honestly for me it's just personal preference. I think the Kabuki is great for um, traveling. It's also it's more polished with the Kabuki. I'll probably go over it with the Kabuki. This is just probably habit because I use it all the time. I love this brush and I use it all the time and I just prefer the long handle. For me, it's just preference. I prefer the Kabuki. I like the little... Of course, I live my life like that, so... Yeah, that's why I like it so much. It's more and I press, press, and bang it on the lid and go. For me, the faster the better. But I like that brush too, but it's, it's a lighter brush and it seems to take a little bit longer feels good. And it feels like heaven on a stick. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the kabuki, oh my gosh. It's so I use the kabuki for my blush, too, because I can. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have like three kabukis. So if you were going to use the kabuki, you know, I, I don't know. I started out using the kabuki, and I think I just, you know, just became a kind of product. So what brushes do you have that people at your party is using? Um, if it's going to be a party where they're all sitting around, Obviously, I don't have enough brushes for every customer. So these <coughs> you can get. Um, they're right. disposable. So what I typically do is have one person where I'm demonstrating the brushes on so they see. Because it is too hard to get the exact same effect with these that you do with a brush. Or I might have one person, maybe not necessarily be a model, but one person is kind of using it just to see. You can get brush cleaner that you can clean in between that dries really quickly from, uh, I don't think we carry anything. Dang. Not that it will dry it really quickly and that way they can they can use it that way. That's what they use at salons. Where do you typically find the brush cleaner? It was at a salon that I found it. At a salon um, product store. I was going to say also, you guys, that's a sales tool because they're using the little disposable brushes and they're seeing mm -hmm. how it's not going on as well and then they're seeing what you're doing with the good brushes and they go, oh, I want it to look like that. And then you just tell them, part of the mineral makeup application is the brushes that you're putting it on with. And that is true because um, it's a point I guess I didn't really include in it, but these brushes, and I've used a lot of brushes, they don't shed, no. you can wash them, you don't get the little hairs all over you, and that's huge. Yeah. They're not that's animal hair. I had to work really hard to find synthetic. And it's a good synthetic. And it's a good synthetic. So I just didn't, I just didn't want to rub some goat book tail or squirrel tail on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I know, some cosmetic artists really like animal hair. But another thing that you can do if you're having some event or something and you have um, things on your hands that you don't like, you can do the exact same thing. You can put the tinted moisture, the concealer, and go over it and your hands just look so pretty. hand model. Yeah. You can, I mean, you can use it everywhere. I have some veins on the back of my knee and I did it there. They were disappeared. So use it everywhere. I have well, had a, did a show with a lady that had been in a car accident. She had been to all of the makeup counters, and this just, this just happened three weeks ago. They were putting heavy derma blend and all of these things on her, and she said, do you think this will work? You guys, I stippled the tinted moisturizer, and she had about a mm, eight, eighth or, you know, tiny opening where the scar was, and then one on her lip here, and let it dry. I did that three times, and then put the powder on. It covered it. And I had another lady, and she said, I can't believe this. I don't look like I have this pa patch of gunk 
on, you know, on my face because we did the rest of her face. But just that tinted moisturizer is a phenomenal, phenomenal corrector. It is, and I think that's what some people feel is they need a heavy foundation to get coverage, and you do not. There's great coverage with this package deal, but I mean, the, the tinted moisturizer, the concealer, and the powder together, you can just get a beautiful, flawless finish. So easy to just love, love, love this makeup. <laughs> so, I, and Sydney, I, that's why we carry makeup now. I get that. It was hard for me. I gotta tell you, because I've been screaming you all along. So, back to the the sample brushes. Your people at your makeup spas. Mm -hmm. I know not to say party. They're using the same little brush to put the powder on and the blush. They and then, are you reusing them, taking them, cleaning, or are you just pitching? Mm -hmm. I just dispose of them. They're, um, usually, they can have more than one. I mean, it just depends. Like, I'll probably give the, I, I reuse my same brush. Like, I'll dip it in my powder, and then I dip it in my blush, you know, all the time at home. That's what I do. I don't have a separate brush. I have a blush brush, but I just am in the habit of using it. So, you can. They can use the mineral powder, and then just kind of wipe it on their paper towel and use it for the blush. It's going to be fine. Um, you could give them more than one. I mean, but it would just be but you're not, but you're not cleaning them and reusing I don't them. clean them and reuse them. Do you recommend not doing that? Is that I recommend not doing that. I do what you're person. saying. So. Yeah, give it to the person as a little party favor. There you go. Yeah, it's just but. kind of, um, there's a little bit of here. It's just kind of, uh, it's not going to, it's, I think it's just a precautionary. I mean, sure. bacteria and sure. just transferring it, it's just better safe than sorry. I mean, the bigger brushes, you can clean them and know that you've cleaned them and you're not really passing them around to a huge number of people, so it just seems... Oh, oh you go to eyes now. I do? You do. Oh. Can we go to blush first? <laughs> On my PowerPoint in my tab. Yeah. Oh. I don't know how to get back to... <laughs> <laughs> While she's opening that, I will tell you um, about the cards. It's designed to go along with your catalog. Because the catalog has so much detail, and I was telling you about the eyes. There's a whole page on eye technique in the catalog that we added. So as you're doing your basic show, then you still have, you know, you need to teach from your cards and let them use the, and use the catalog as the tool that it's supposed to be at your shows to help you sell. Okay, so she picked out the Razzle Dazzle. We have several different kinds. When you're showing new customers, the colors look really, really bright. So if they look at them, they're kind of intimidated that that's what it's going to look like. And that's the beauty of minerals. I mean, once they tap it and put it on, it's so pretty and it doesn't stand out like that. And to me, at these parties, that's where they're sold on it all because it they, they get to see for themselves that it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. And, and get to play and try different different things. You could have samples, um, but the consultant uh, foundations that we sell for consultants in the, in the testers, those are just perfect for a makeover party. Definitely work with us. All right, so we're just going to do this on her cheeks and a little bit where the sun would touch her face, just for like a sun kiss look. And you can go down a little bit on the get to her chest area, but you could do that, and just wherever you think the sun would give you that little glow is where we should put this. And when I'm doing parties, I just do kind of a light, if they want to go deeper and darker, then they, that's where, when it's over, they can really personalize it to them, so you're not taking a long time. So that's um, the blush part. Which color did you just use? <laughs> she uses the right. razzle dazzle. Which is really pretty, and in the brilliant berry, I use the tickled pink, so it really is personal. You know, it's really personal. I think they're all nice. The brilliant berry. Sometimes I'll use when I go out. It's a little bit too dark for me, but you can put tickled pink right over the top, so it kind of tones it down a little. 